It's spring and it's busy season around here, so that means I need to stock my freezer with some quick and easy meals that I can pull when we have no time to cook. Hi, I'm Nancy Lynn from Confessions of a Fit Foodie, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make four easy freezer prep meals for your Instant Pot or Crock Pot. So the first meal I'm gonna make is balsamic chicken. This can be made in your Instant Pot or in your Crock Pot, and it just takes a few simple pantry ingredients. So first I'm gonna prep my bag. Um, I'm just gonna use a regular Ziploc freezer bag for this, and this is my little Ziploc baggie holder. If you don't have one of these, you can grab it from the link in my description, or you could just use a big open bowl. But I love these when you're assembling multiple freezer meals like we're about to do today. Okay, so for my balsamic chicken, I'm gonna use chicken tenderloins and add them to the bag. You could use regular full-size chicken breasts. You could use chicken thighs. And you could actually even use flank steak or pork in this recipe. And then I'm gonna add some red onion and some garlic. About a half of a red onion and two to three cloves of garlic. I have some seasoning, so we're gonna do some garlic powder, salt, oregano, and basil. Add those in. And you can use diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes, but with the Instant Pot, I find that the diced tomatoes perform a little bit better, so I'm gonna use diced tomatoes. See how great this thing works? It's holding it up for me. And then the final ingredient, you can have balsamic chicken without balsamic vinegar. So add that in. We're gonna take our bag off the stand. Make sure we don't have any air in the bag. Give it a good seal. And mix it up. And this one's ready to go, one meal down. The next recipe we're gonna do is my Asian chicken. This is a fan favorite and has been for years, and it's a great freezer meal. For this one, I'm gonna use a stasher bag, which is basically just a reusable Ziploc bag. And this is their half quart size, and it's perfect for freezer meals. So, I don't like to use a Sharpie to label on my stasher, because I reuse it all the time. So we're gonna use some freezer tape. The Scotch 3M is the best of all the freezer tapes. I'm gonna label this. And you can stand your stasher bags up using these. So I'm using chicken again. This time I'm gonna use chicken thighs. Actually, this recipe is another one. Super versatile. I love this with steak. I have a pork tenderloin recipe on the blog using the exact same sauce. Okay, I have my chicken in my stasher bag. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this tomato paste and then I'm gonna keep it nearby because we're gonna use the rest of the can in the next recipe. So add that in. I have some honey, but you can swap maple syrup for this recipe. I have fresh ginger and garlic, which is optional, so if you don't have it, you can definitely still make this delicious recipe. Or you could sub in some ginger and garlic powder. I'm gonna add in some coconut aminos, which is just like soy sauce, but it's gluten-free and it's healthier. I'm gonna add in some salt, tiny bit of crushed red pepper because I have really picky kids, and coconut oil. And once again, I'm gonna take this down with the stasher bag. You wanna again make sure that you have all the air out. And just takes a little getting used to to make sure it's closed properly. But once again, you'll just kinda shake it all up, put your label back on, and this one's done. So two down, two more to go. So next we're gonna make my barbecue chicken, which is again a longtime reader favorite. But this time we're gonna prep our freezer meal in my super cubes. I've used these before in my YouTube videos. I love super cubes and I especially really like them for freezer meals and I'll show you why. When you remove a frozen two cup super cube, it fits perfectly in your Instant Pot. And that, I can't say the same thing for using the stasher bags and the Ziploc bags. You need to do a little bit of thawing first. So this can go directly in from frozen. And if you cook a lot in your Instant Pot, you know you can cook right from frozen. So total bonus for using super cubes. So I'm gonna build my sauce first. 
since I'm gonna be freezing these in my super cubes. If you're using bags, you could add these ingredients right into your bag. I'm gonna add the rest of the tomato paste from the Asian chicken. These are two recipes that are great to make together because you're using a lot of the same ingredients and one can of tomato paste makes two meals. I'm gonna add in more coconut aminos, just like I used in the last recipe. I have maple syrup, but again, this works where you can change it up. If you have honey on hand, you could use that instead. I'm gonna use some apple cider vinegar. And then for seasonings, I'm gonna add in some onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And I'm gonna stir this up pretty good. When you see the tomato paste is really mixed in well, it's okay if it's still like a little bit lumpy, but if it's mixed in and incorporated a good amount, we're ready. So what I do is I just add chicken. I'm using, again, the tenderloins, but anything goes for this. It's delicious with pork. It's delicious with chicken thighs. I'm gonna make one layer and then add my sauce, about half of the sauce, and then make a second layer. So I'm, because I'm showing you four in a row, I'm not doubling or tripling these, but you can easily double or triple these and fill up a whole super cube with one recipe. And I highly recommend that because if you're taking the time to make these freezer meals, really do it up. Okay, and then you just pop the lid on and you're ready to freeze it. After it's frozen, you take your frozen cube out and you can add it to a stasher bag or a Ziploc bag, label the bag, and you're good to go with another freezer meal. All right, on to meal four. And lastly, I have my chicken carnitas, probably my favorite of all the recipes. So I'm gonna start by adding in some chicken thighs. You can use, again, whatever protein, but I'm partial to chicken thighs for this recipe. And then I'm gonna add in four cloves of garlic. Lots of flavor in this one. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna add in some of my salt-free taco seasoning. Uh, if you've watched my chicken taco recipe, I made this on that. I have some salt, fresh orange juice from one orange, fresh lime juice, about a quarter of a cup. So it's like one to two limes, depending on how juicy your limes are. And then some chicken broth. And then finally, fresh cilantro. If you're not a fan of fresh cilantro, you can leave this out. I'm gonna do my same bag prep, air out, zip it up, give it a little shake, and we are done. Just a couple tips for thawing your freezer meals. If you're using your crock pot, you need to completely thaw your meals in the fridge overnight because you cannot cook from frozen in your crock pot. But if you're gonna make this, make any of these meals in your instant pot, you can cook from frozen. Just a little tip, when you have your frozen bag and you pull it from the freezer, you can't dump it right in. It's hard to get it out of the bag, the shape won't necessarily fit. So you can microwave your bag for two minutes. Now I'm not the biggest fan of putting plastic Ziploc bags in the microwave, but it's 100% safe, you can do it. But this is another reason why I really love the Stasher bag, because they're silicone and it's not plastic. I just put one in the microwave for two minutes. This is my barbecue chicken. You can see that it's still frozen, but it's much easier to take it and pour it right into my Instant Pot. So the chicken itself didn't thaw, mm -hmm. there was no cooking involved, but the sauce comes out easily. And then you don't wanna lose the sauce that's in here. So my trick is you're just gonna put a little bit of water inside to get the remaining sauce out. And this actually helps it cook in the Instant Pot too, helps it come to pressure. Okay, let me just take the rest of that sauce out. And there you go, you're all set. For the full recipe, thawing tips, and crock pot and instant pot directions, check out the description below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments, do you wanna see more freezer prep videos? Because I would love to do them. Thanks for watching.